Hello Gecko and Isopod fans, this is Wally Kern and Nanette Kern from Supreme Gecko. This is going to be a one-shot video. I'm not going to do any editing and we're going to go through the whole thing one shot and it's going to be jam-packed with information and topics. So let's get right to it. The first thing we're going to talk about is questions and answers. So what I'd like to do is get questions, what I like to do is get questions and answers from everybody and I like to answer those questions as quick as possible on our YouTube channel. Unfortunately, when I do that, then I don't pile up this group of questions that I can do a video like this on. So today, Nanette and I are going to ask each other two questions if we have time and we're going to answer those and this is all not planned whatsoever so this is all kind of spur of the moment so we'll see what kind of reaction we get from each other the second thing that we uh, are going to do is an unboxing we have two boxes one from ken molinsky and one from dbd pet and we're going to go ahead and go through an opening of those two boxes and finally i wanted to talk to everybody about the giveaway that we'll be doing at the end of the year this is going to be a huge huge giveaway if you remember, at the end of 2019, we did a giveaway. I think we gave away two $100 gift certificates. At the end of this year, it's going to be even bigger, hopefully twice as big, if not bigger. So, and also with that, and that's going to be associated to the YouTube channel, but we'll also do associated to the web page, a 12 Supreme Days of Christmas like we have in the past. And that will absolutely be huge, huge. I sound like somebody famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's just move on. Yeah. So to be eligible for the giveaway, what I ask everybody to do is put comments in our, on all of our videos, this one especially, and the comment that I'd like you to leave today is, since we want to do another question and answer session soon uh, for these videos, leave a comment below and ask us a question, whatever you want to ask, something about the business, something about a specific animal, something about our lives together. Uh, something about Crystal, ask Crystal a question. Uh, feel free to ask whatever you want. Leave that question down below in the comments and we'll do a future video with those questions. So speaking of questions, and we'll get right to the unboxing in just a second, but let's go ahead and start with the questions. Nanette, do you want to ask me one, your first question? Yeah, sure. If you had to change anything about Supreme Gecko, what would you change? Um, one, one, one thing. I, yeah, there's a lot of things. So the one thing that I would really like to change is I don't feel like I do a great job. You know, I, I feel like I have a lot of the animals that I want. I feel like I, I um, do a, a good job with social media, uh, answering questions, being pretty responsive. The one thing that I don't feel like I do a good job of is, and, and never have, is balancing supply with demand. Right now we have a ton, a ton of requ uh, requests for animals, and that, that's the demand side. The supply side is, and, and I treat this Supreme Gecko just like any other business, accounting with different functions, accounting and inventory control and marketing and sales. The one area that I kind of feel like I'm falling down on is inventory, and that's due to getting our stock back up to a manageable um, area and we couldn't do that overnight when I got back into the hobby a couple of years ago. And now we're finally at a point where we have inventory and we're getting eggs. I did a video a couple of weeks ago uh, collecting 100 eggs in, in one day. And that was just the third of our, our facility. But I still am not managing that inventory to the um, level of supply, uh, demand. And because we're just getting requests daily, I just answered two questions about where's your availability list, and I need to get animals on the web page, but I also need to, fulfill, to fulfill our wish list as well. So I need to do a better job of getting uh, more animals uh, available for everybody. So before I answer my <coughs> question, let's go ahead and open a box. This is from Ken Malinsky, and there's your your knife. Ken has a wonderful, wonderful YouTube channel, um, and I'll throw the link in the description below. It's called, and I've got it written down here because I can't remember the name, or I can't pronounce the name that well, Kaiju Iso Channel. I hope I pronounced that correctly, Ken. Ken, uh, and it's a great channel, uh, smaller videos, just unbelievable, unbelievable photography. 
So Ken kind of gave me a heads up here. I've got a note, but I'm going to, I don't like to read notes um, at Christmas or my birthday um, in front of everybody, so I'll read this later. So Ken sent over a really beautiful gift. There's some magnets. Three magnets. This is my logo, Supreme Gecko, and a beautiful, beautiful woodworking uh, design. Just amazing. So I'm going to throw this on the wall. I'm not going to put it on the shelf because it's so special. This is so cool. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, just beautiful the detail. detail. Beautiful. Thanks, Thank, Ken. Thank you, Ken. Thank you very much. Uh, my question to you, I'll give you these to you so you can put that with the... I can take one downstairs. You can take one downstairs. So don't be stealing my, my stuff. I can put it in my fridge. Uh, my question to you is you have three sons. We have three sons. Um, my question to you is which is your favorite? No way. That's not a fair <laughs> question. Okay let, me, no, okay, let me ask a fair question. Um, I knew that would throw you off. A uh, fair question. We have a lot of animals downstairs, isopods and geckos. If you could only have, if we could only have one animal, which one would be the one that you would want to keep? Which one would be the one that you'd really, really like to keep in the... One? Yeah. I'm going to say Pictus, I think. Because Pictus have a lot of personality. When I go in and I feed, they're up on top of their hides they're on top of the rocks or the wood that's in there and they're checking everything out right away they kind of turn their heads back and forth like they understand when i'm putting the food in or if i talk to them briefly or if crystal lectures them about something they've done <laughs> they seem to understand um they just have a lot of personality and they'd be out we could have a display tank and they'd be out yeah. moving around and yeah. we could enjoy them and maybe have a few eggs from them once in a while and it would be kind of fun that's I think a, they're cool. That's a good call, and, and again, this is all not planned whatsoever, but um, I would think that Pictus would be one of my favorites as well. I think in my top ten that I did video, uh, Pictus were way up there, probably one or two or three. So, great selection. Let's go ahead and open the second box, and while we do that, I'll, let, I'll go ahead and ask you to ask me another question. Um. And this one, just real quick, this is from DVD Pet. We had talked earlier, they had uh, uh, called me or messaged me on Facebook and mentioned that they were going to send something over, so I'm very excited about this. My question would be one that the boys have asked me multiple times. Why doesn't Dad take this business out of the house uh, and work in a storefront with a warehouse? I'll make this really quick. If I did something like that, I would have a big building, it would be for breeding, I'd have a storefront. But the one reason I don't do that is because with work, I knew, and I loved my job when I, before I uh, semi-retired here, but uh, before I, I did that, I spent probably 70, at least 70 hours at work every day and week. weekends, every, yeah, every week. And uh, that was weekends as well. I would think that I would be way over that if I had a store burn. I, I would never be home. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. All right, you have an isopod enclosure. Wow. This is really cool. It's an acrylic tank. It slides open. And then you've got some springtail food. Excellent. Wow, this is really cool. You've got leaves. Leaves. Nice leaves for the top of the uh, substrate. Some substrate. And substrate. Looks like and a nice here mix. Is the, and it has lots of ventilation on the sides. Both sides have two rows. The top is all the way around. Check out that ventilation, really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up on my desk because I don't have anything upstairs. So if I want to see some isopods, I have to go downstairs, you know, two levels and work on the isopods. And I don't enjoy them like I really should be uh, enjoying these isopods. So I'll set one uh, culture up here and see how they do. Very good. good. I'll put this to the side. And whose turn is it? Is it mine to ask you? Mm -hmm. Um, and I wanted to mention again, you know, for the <clears throat> giveaway, make sure that you get into the, the giveaway for the end of the year by leaving a question down below, please. Uh, my question to you would be, we do a lot of, a lot of things downstairs, a lot of uh, fun things, but we also do a lot of maintenance kind of things. 
one of the least things that I, I like to do is work on electricity. There's so many different things. Now. I hate when a light goes on. I hate when I a timer goes down and I have to reset the timer. Stuff like that just feel, makes me feel like I'm taking time away from the animals. So Nanette, watch your least favorite thing to do and watch your favorite thing to do downstairs. My least favorite thing to do is cleaning up cricket containers or dubias. Hey. Dubias are not fun. I don't like harvesting them that much. I, I hate, I, I don't mind the dubias as much as a cricket container, especially a cricket container that's um, unfortunately been misplaced under a, a stand or under a rack and then you find it three weeks later. I call it I call it cricket soup at that point, and it's just the nastiest thing. And you don't you don't find it accidentally. You you smell it, and there's some you some, some smell something in the room. It's just terrible. Okay, go on. Um, so unfortunately, because of some allergies that I've developed, Nanette has volunteered. <laughs> yeah, volunteered? I volunteered. Good, good work. Uh, <laughs> Nanette has volunteered to do the harvesting of the dubias, and it takes about forty five minutes once a month or so and I greatly greatly appreciate that but Nanette helps out so much downstairs it, it's incredible I really couldn't do this without Nanette um, without her help so I appreciate that what's one of your fun things to do I would say checking the eggs in the incubators and seeing the hatching of the eggs collecting them is fun but I think just seeing them hatch and especially when you get there and all of a sudden somebody's like halfway out and you can watch the whole process I think it's fun to just enjoy that part of it. There's a lot of maintenance down there, and that's not always the most fun. And he's right. He does not like any hardware repair <laughs> at all. Very frustrated. You can always tell when something's gone wrong. It's loud and clear. So is that something that if, if I found something that was wrong downstairs right now in the video that we couldn't edit that out? It, we would have that to That would be a problem? It would be a blooper or an, or an edit. Yeah. Um, that's some great points, and, and finding eggs is one of my favorite things to do as well. A couple of weeks ago, I found, I think it was over 100 eggs. I did a video on that, um, and lots of fun. And we had fun with that, right? Yeah, after the fact. Yeah, I, I, started, I started collecting the eggs and forgot all about asking Nanette to help out with that one and just found more and more and more and more and more. And by the end, you know, I realized what I had done and called it on, and I said sorry. You did. You did. You also had to apologize to your granddaughter because Crystal was quite annoyed she that loves she didn't doing get that to see. Too. She likes to walk around, look at the tanks, and spot an egg, and then yell for you to come and look at them. So. She's a good um, she's egg, a good finder, egg and finder. She's a good baby finder too she in is. the incubator. Yep, she does well. That's one of my favorite things is opening the incubator and seeing the little heads popping up and mm -hmm. and uh, collecting the babies in their containers. In their containers. <laughs> um, again. Thank you very much for watching this video. Leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If everybody enjoyed the video, what should they do? As Crystal says, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification all so you don't miss another one of these videos. Thank you again for watching.